dealing with what we got thing. here is Bonzo, and he's got him a case of white line disease. Uh, anybody out there, they, they might know, they may not. It's a bacterial fungus that gets in between the hoof wall and the sole. Here's how, I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera, but here's what it sounds. Now, here it is. All, so, all hollow up in there. See how it gets? Sure. It's hollow, like up, at the, up at this far, and you can tell. See, I know because I know this horse's hooves. I know how they grow. When I first seen it last week, I'm like, there's something not doing right here. So I started digging, trimming, and when I trimmed it, here's what I found right here. See that hole right there? Mm -hmm. That's it. And it goes all the way around here. Yeah, and we got to try to dig this out. And sometimes you can catch it before it gets a little worse than it. You know, if it if it decides to get in a hoof a week before I come out, then I can catch it before it gets to. I'm assuming that this started a week or so after I was here last. And within five weeks, that's what it did. Because mm -hmm. I'm here every six weeks. And when I was here before, that was not here. It was not there. Mm -hmm. Or I would have seen it, and I would have sure enough grabbed a hold of it and started doctoring it right away. You noticed it when you trimmed it. Yep. It starts in the ground. It, it, they get it from the ground wherever, however, you can have 20 horses and one get it, or two get it. There's no telling, no exactly reason or rhyme or reason what happens or how it gets in there. But if it does, it starts literally eating the hoof away inside. And you can't see it until the damage is severe. And why is that? Most, the way that's usually done is they cut the whole hoof up, resection the hoof, they call it. Drastic, I'm not saying I won't do that, but I try to go a different route. I try to give a little porthole and I put a cleaner rag up in there and doctor it and medicine it. And then the owner of the horse does it in between while I'm here. Now, I will tell you this. Me coming out every four or five weeks is not going to keep it killed off. So what we're going to do is cut a little porthole, clean it all out. I'm going to put some iodine crystals in there, which is going to burn it and kill everything in there. But like I said, even though I do that, it's not guaranteed that I get every microscopic organism in there killed. That's why she's got to do it. So they put a white lightning on there, they soak the hook, and you got to do that at least every day or every other day resectioning, the, you wouldn't, resectioning is the last resort for me like i said you're uncovering what the hoof wall is supposed to cover and protect i'm not saying i'm not going to do that but i'm going to we're going to try to kill this off and get rid of it so we, we don't have to do that By packing. so we're going to flush this out see how okay here's my tool right here oh, yeah. that's how far it goes into that hoof you see all that dirt coming out? So it's hollow in there. Yep. See, that's that's that deep in there. It's all right, good. I'm going to use peroxide because I'm going to try to boil this out a little bit. We're just going to have to let it dry. So what we're doing is pouring some peroxide in there to try to get all the dirt that we can possibly get out of there. See, I'm squishing that in there real good. Mm -hmm. See it boiling? Oh, yeah. So uh, I've used peroxide I've, many times. It's never seemed to cause a problem. So it doesn't take much to kill it. It's just getting to it and keeping on top of it. And uh, what I will do is take a piece of this gauze and stick up in there. I'm trying to get as much of that dried out as I can. See how that rag goes up in there now? That's, it's going easier now instead of, uh, it's hard to get up in there without a good porthole. So I'm going to put that in there, try to get as much of that uh, peroxide dried out as I can. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now, see I'm drying this out now and killing germs too at the same time. Yeah. 
I guarantee you one thing, that flame going down in there, there ain't much alive in there now. Right. The trick is keeping it clean because it only takes a couple days for it to come back. It doesn't, it doesn't, cleaning it and leave, some people will let me do it and I'll come back out three or four weeks later and the same rag I put in there is still in there. <laughs> that is not going to work. Crystals. I don't know if you can see it. It's the, we used to use this way back 30 on 20, uh, 27 years ago. Hmm. Then he took it off the market and he set it off a chemical reaction with gum turpentine. Okay. Okay. Looks like poppy seeds. Yep. Or gunpowder. It does look like gunpowder. We got it in. Here, here, here. Yeah, here. gum turpentine. Now get a video of this. This is the important part. Ready? Go ahead. Oh my goodness. Look a magic trick. Mm. Now, every crevice in there is burnt right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's the old stuff. Mm -hmm. That's old school. So we're just going to let it dry for a little bit. Okay, now we're going to gauze it up. This is more being a port for medicine to keep the ink or cleaner. You put this in there and you leave a little bit of it hanging out, put it tight enough in there so that it won't fall out. And then when they do walk around, dirt gets around there because I don't care what you do, dirt's going to get in there. I don't care if you put a shoe on there. Number one, you do not want to resin it. I don't care what anybody says. You do not want to resin that. Seal the foot little, shut, and then it just can't breathe, and there's can't breathe bacteria. And it's just can... going to travel up the hoof even worse. It's going to go everywhere. So, right now, can I 100% guarantee that every microorganism is dead in there? No, I cannot. How can I? You can't even do it if you resection a hoof. Still going to be unless then it's, it's just too, yeah. too much. So what this is doing is we're putting this in there, packing it in there so that when he does walk around, when she pulls that stuff out, it loosens all the dirt up where she can flush it back out with peroxide and put uh, antibiotic way. ointment. Yep. Right. Very good for horses' hooves. Okay. All right, so we're going to pack this all Just in like here. Something. See now, she can grab that mm -hmm. with some pliers or something, or just a screwdriver or something, to get that start and pull that out. And that'll loosen all the dirt up. And then we'll take some, just some strong iodine, that's stuff we've been talking about before. And I'll just put a little bit in there, just at the tip of that. That's just to help my theory, any germs that hits that, the tip of that rag is going to be dead so okay there we go now if you subscribe well, i'm going to do updates on bonzo bonzo's update which i never see on any other video we all know how far the cow or the uh the my digger goes up in there mm -hmm. so we'll keep an update and watch it Go down and down and down. We want to do some updates, and every time I do him, I'm going to have to come out here about every three, no more than four weeks. You're going to have to. They got some stuff called white lightning. It's specially made for white Lyme disease. And they put the, the medicine in there, and they put a boot or a bag on their hoof or whatever it is, and it soaks that medicine. They let it set for, what, 20 minutes, half hour? 30 to 45. 30 to 45 minutes. Mixed with vinegar. And uh, hmm. it soaks in there and helps kill... Helps kill mixed, it off. Mixed with vinegar. Yeah. And, and that is going, that is the owner's job because me doing this every three or four weeks is not going to, it's not going to go it's away. It's got to be kept clean in between. It's got to be kept nursed. clean in between. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Mm -hmm. 
but I am coming out every three or four weeks, which is way early because this has gotten really severe mm -hmm. in such a short time. Mm -hmm. So um, I have to keep an eye on it with my iodine crystals and burn that out and everything. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, so that's I'm the... pretty sure that we won't have to cut the hoof up. I have had it that bad or worse and gotten rid of it, but it it's not quick. It takes a while. Every time I stick that thing in there, it should be still, even if it's just a little bit, mm -hmm. say after about a couple months, it should be down to there. So this is no quickie deal. No. This is a This process. is going to take a while. Mm -hmm. this yep. One. So that's all we can do. Like I said, subscribe and look for updates. Bonzo's update. I'll make sure <laughs> I put it on there.